This is a GD. This isn't a really an episode, just a true life reminder of those moments when you're not really sure and those unknown. Did I do that? Moments when you're going to bed and you've already let your dog out, you've had supper, and you've checked the doors to make sure they're locked, all the windows are shut, all the fans are off. And everything seems secure. And you go to bed. And you look over to see if your dog's asleep. And your dog's asleep. And then it seems like moments later. And you hear something. So you get up out of bed. And you tell your dog to stay there. And it's okay. You get out of bed. <coughs> and you come out to the living room. Everything seems secure. The doors are locked. The windows are shut. You go to the kitchen. The patio door is locked. The windows are shut. Nothing obscure. So you go back to bed, turn the light back out, and your dog's looking at you like, is it okay? And you give her a hug and you say, it's okay. It's okay, I'm right here with you. So you lay back down. And it seems like moments later again, you hear another noise. And you're thinking, is this just the house settling or what? So you try to go back to sleep and ignore it. Next thing you know, it's minutes later again, and you look up, and all you can see is the silhouette of the moonlight through the cracks of the window and the nightlight. And you stare at your door, debating whether or not you should get up. And you're just telling yourself, it's okay, I'm just imagining this, and you're trying to get back to sleep. And then uh, almost closing your eyes, then you hear the door. <coughs> your bedroom door where you're supposed to feel safe, where you go to, at, at night to go to sleep. And your dog puts her head up, looks at you, looks at the door, looks at you, looks at the door. She doesn't bark, not sure what to do, waiting to see what you do. And you're staring at the door thinking, this is a dream. This is a dream, right? I lock the doors. I close the windows. So, you decide to get up, and you say, who's there? No one answers. Is anyone there? No one answers. So you turn the light on, there's nobody by the door. You close the door, you open it again, and it does latch, so it didn't just swing open. There's no wind. So you go out to the living room, the doors are secure, the windows are shut. Everything's locked up, the lights are off, except for the night lights. So you go back to bed, and this time, you're just watching that door, just waiting, but you had put a chair in front of the door. So you're thinking, nothing's going to happen. I think I'm just imagining this. I'm just really tired. <clears throat> the next thing you know, you hear your, door, your dog snoring. <laughs> Obviously, she felt back to sleep because she felt safe around you. So you're thinking, okay, I just, I just need to relax, man. I just need to relax. So you turn your phone on. You watch a couple YouTube videos. Then you're relaxed. You turn your phone back off. You go back to sleep. Moments later, you don't hear the door. Nothing moves. But you did hear a sound. And all you heard was... <laughs> so you're wondering, what in the world was that? So, you're debating whether or not you should get up or just let it go. So, you just let it go and fall back to sleep. And then... Uh, you actually sleep, and you wake up in the morning, and you look over at your dog, wake her up, and you say, come on, let's get up, it's daylight. So you get up to do your daily routine, you know. And then uh, when you come out to the living room, you look at the door and everything's fine. But when you go into the kitchen, the patio door is wide open, the screen door is open, everything's wide open. And there were some chairs moving around as if somebody had tripped so you're thinking, I locked the doors, I shut the windows. So you look around your house to see if anything was missing, and nothing was missing. So anyway, you're thinking, what just happened, you know? So anyway, you go about your day, and uh, you know, nothing else weird happens or anything. And next thing you know, it's two days later. Two days later, and you're in your bathroom, you're thinking, I'm still kind of wondering what that was. And then... uh 
you go into bed or whatever, and then you, when you're going to bed, you turn on your uh, your nightlight to make sure your dog gets into bed, and you look under your your nightlight, and right before you go to turn it off, you see the corner of this paper, and then you're thinking, what in the world is that? And you're thinking, okay, I just wrote something that ripped off or something, and then you fall asleep. <clears throat> Moments later, you wake up, you didn't hear anything. But you pull that paper out and you turn the light on thinking, okay, this is a note I wrote or something, a reminder. And you sit up in bed and your dog's still asleep and you look at the paper and it's a little corner of a page ripped off right that was sitting right under your nightlight, right beside you in bed. And you know what that note says? The note says, I saw you, I was watching you, didn't want to bother you. real moment. Enjoy.